Hey guys, Technomentary here with a really simple video for you guys. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to insert SIM card into your Galaxy S10 to get service on your phone. So this is a pretty simple method. I'm going to show you guys a couple of ways to do it to get service. And if you guys are looking to buy a S10 or any of the newer phones, there's ways to buy really discounted phones. I'll include the link in the description for you guys. Also, if you guys are new to our channel, we do a lot of tech reviews, news, and giveaways as well. So make sure to hit that subscribe button. So here I have a couple tools to do the SIM, SIM insert and removal. The first one is a common tool, which is known as the SIM ejector tool. With this tool is the preferred way to do it. But if you don't have this SIM ejector tool, you can also use a paper clip, which you can just bend like this and it'll become similar to the SIM ejector tool. Or you can take a old earring that you don't mind if this thing breaks or not, you can use that as well. So those are the other two hacks if you don't have the official tool because you bought a used or a pre-owned phone or simply just lost the piece. So to do this, you're gonna wanna locate the top of the S10 phone that you have and you'll notice up top there's a little hole, not this one. You wanna get the ones on all the way to the left side and then you're gonna take your sim ejector tool or you know paper clip or earring piece and just put it in there and voila it should pop up this little tray so let's take a look at this tray that we have so that we'll put the phone aside here for a second and then take a look at the tray as you'll notice you look closely up on the tray there's two slots this is the sim slot and then micro sd slot if you're expanding your storage and you have a micro sd so we're going to put the sim card on this slot you'll notice there's a cut edge right here that's the indicator on how to put the sim card so for the s10 takes a nano size sim card and if you guys don't have a nano size sim card simply contact your carrier and they'll provide you a nano side sim card or if you have a bigger one they can also cut that one so you'll see that i'm going to match up that cut edge with this piece right here and it will be flushed against this and nice and gentle you want to flush it against it and then go ahead and insert it back in there once it's inserted back in there you have to give it 10, 15 seconds for it to start reading the service and you should be able to get phone service. So, and it might ask you to restart the phone. In that case, you'll hit that restart button. Couple things to note if it's not working is that make sure your phone is compatible. If you bought a new phone or a used phone, make sure it's compatible with your carrier as well. I know if the SIM isn't compatible, let's say if this phone is not unlocked or it's from another carrier and you're trying to activate to a different carrier, it's not gonna work. In that case, you'll have to go out, contact the previous carrier to unlock the phone for you. That's one simple uh, tip. The other thing is if you're buying a new phone like S10 or something, I always prefer that you get an unlock one. That way you don't have to worry about you know, when you switch between carriers, you should be able to pop in a new SIM each time and you'll be good to go there. As you saw here, it read my SIM card, which I put in a Cricut wireless SIM card and I'm good to go there. And I see Cricut right here, the service that I'm using pop up and I should be able to test the calls and also, you know, browse the internet using mobile services. Other tip and trick is that if a SIM card is maybe old or used, you might need to get a new SIM card. In that case, same thing, care, call your um, carrier or contact them and get a new SIM card. Lastly, if all of that doesn't work for you, simply go ahead and restart the phone by manually by holding the power button here and then powering it back on it. And then that should help. So hopefully these tips that I'm sharing with you guys are helpful. If you guys have any other questions, simply leave a comment in the comment section and I'll try to answer them to the best of my ability. Again, hopefully this video was helpful and make sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching guys.